I used to be afraid of technology. In fact, I used to be afraid of almost anything that involved making a mistake. But somebody should have told me that that outfit was a serious one. I was afraid of getting anything less than perfect in school. The first time I brought home a failing grade, I thought my life was over. I didn't grow up in a family that really understood technology. My dad couldn't press record on a VCR to tape my favorite TV show. He also couldn't answer his cell phone, and I'm pretty sure he still can't. We still have a rotary phone at my cottage. I stayed away from Facebook for years, telling everyone I thought it was a fad, but really, I just didn't get it. I shied away from Twitter because I didn't know what a hashtag was. And I actually had to Google how to say the word meme. Was it meme? Mem? Meme? I had no idea. I felt like an outsider. I was so scared of making a mistake that I just didn't use technology. I felt like everyone was speaking a language that I didn't understand. I felt like I was, everyone was in a club and I wasn't in it. And something tells me I'm not the first person to have felt this way. It doesn't help that when I got my job as a technology and learning coach at the International School of Bangkok, that I was talking to somebody in the tech community about the Ken Burns effect in iMovie. You know that? It pans across and makes your slides look cool. And he laughed at me for not knowing what it was. And then I went to ISTE this summer, and I told someone I only had 300 followers on Twitter. And she looked at me and she said, only 300? As if this was a tech coach catastrophe. When I moved to Bangkok, I landed in the airport, and I didn't understand a word people were saying. It was relatively akin to my first day on the job. Networks, bandwidth, CAPTCHA, LDAP, what had I gotten myself into? The tech community at times can feel like an exclusive bunch, and it's not intentional, I know, but there seems to be a certain amount of insider jargon and knowledge that you have to have in order to be credible. But we are educators. We know better. We know that learning and creating is inherently vulnerable. We know that one of the biggest barriers to innovation is the fear of putting an idea on the table and then being ridiculed or laughed at. We create classrooms that honor this, but yet, sometimes, we forget with one another. Technology is a very vulnerable place for some people. Teachers might be afraid to plan a lesson for fear that tech might fail, or they might not want to join a Twitter chat because they, they don't want to type the wrong thing. We shouldn't let them feel this way. So you might be wondering, why the heck did I apply for a job in technology? What changed for me? Well, with the help of some amazing mentors, many of whom are actually in this room, and with some serious risk taking, I began to t use technology more in the classroom. I realized that not having all the answers was okay, and often it was even better for my students. I realized that it was okay to make mistakes. I focused on the learning, and not so much on the tech, and found many other people that were doing the same. Day by day, I realized I did have something to offer. I made mistakes. I made lots. I asked a lot of questions, but I worked hard, and I found strength from being outside of my comfort zone. And I can honestly say now, and I couldn't have said this just a few years ago, that I'm proud that I made mistakes. I'm proud that I can laugh at myself. And you know what? I still only have about 300 followers on Twitter. <laughs> Technology is about learning, and we're all learners, and as far as I know, we're all humans too, just doing the best that we can. We need to continue to create those safe spaces to be able to try things out, to be brave, and to make mistakes. When I was asked to be a learning two leader, I didn't think I deserved it. I thought, what can I bring to the table? What if people judge me for my lack of technology knowledge? Or what if I make a big mistake by accepting this? But in my moments of doubt, I remind myself, it would have been a bigger mistake not to. I would never want not trying to be my newest mistake. Brene Brown, a few years ago, did an incredible TED Talk on vulnerability. If you haven't seen it, 
you should make sure you go home and watch it. She, when I was researching her, I was really surprised to learn that she's never watched her own TED Talk. The guru of vulnerability struggles to be vulnerable. What that says to me is, vulnerability is hard. Making mistakes is hard. But you know what? I'm going to tell you to go and do it anyways. What's your newest mistake going to be? Thank you.